Well hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft video. It's been a little while but we're back here at the Viking Village for another tutorial and I'm really looking forward to this one and it has to be one of my favourite builds so far as today we're going to be building a Viking gatehouse and wall. That's right guys, a few of you requested a wall around the village so that's what we're going to do today. Thank you to everyone who's been following along with the series so far. If you're new to the channel, a huge welcome, a very big welcome to the channel and don't forget to press that subscribe button so you don't miss another video. I've got lots of new content planned for the channel so there's lots to look forward to. So our Viking gatehouse, I think the gatehouse we're going to build will look best over here at the back of the village. But first we need to make a few adjustments to the landscape, knock a few trees down and do a bit of terraforming. So let's jump straight into that. So we're just going to pluck a few of these spruce trees out of the area and then just fill in this rather large ravine that's situated at the back of the village to make way for our gatehouse and wall. I've been watching the new Viking series on Netflix called Valhalla, if you haven't seen it give it a watch, it's really good, probably just as good as the original series and it's given me lots of inspiration for the village and I'm loosely basing the gatehouse on the gate to Kattegat in the series. So if you haven't seen that, go check that out, I highly recommend it. So here you can see me flattening around the area and looking a bit bland at the minute but don't worry we'll add some trees back later on and texture up the floor as well. I think building the wall around the village will let us know how much space in the village we have left to fill so we have a rough idea of when the series will sadly come to an end. So let's check out what materials we're going to need to build our gatehouse and wall. So for this build we're going to need to gather some cobblestone, some regular stone, some cobble and regular stone slabs, some dark oak logs, some stripped dark oak logs, some stripped spruce logs, some spruce planks, spruce stairs, dark oak stairs, dark oak slabs, dark oak fences, spruce trap doors, chains, lanterns, chisel stone blocks, campfires and some ladders. So let's crack on with the build. So for our layout we're going to need to create two 5x5 five five squares shown here in the red and yellow blocks with a 13 block space between them shown here with the blue and white blocks. So first of all we're going to fill the 5x5 five five block areas with some cobblestone and then texture it up by replacing some of the cobble with some regular stone like so. And then in most of the steps we're going to be doing we're going to be doing the exact same thing on the other square to create a mirror image. Now we're going to knock out each corner block of our stone square base and in each corner we're going to build up a 15 block high column of stripped dark oak logs. And then like I said before we're going to create a mirror image to just repeat the process on the other square as well. Then you should be left with something that looks a little like this and forming the main structure of our two towers of the gatehouse. Next on the 6th stripped dark oak log up we're going to create a cross beam all the way around like so connecting the vertical columns to form a square and then add an extra block on the outside poking out of each cross beam like so. We're then going to do the exact same thing but this time on the 11th stripped dark log up and then repeat the whole process on the opposite tower. Now we're simply going to grab some spruce planks and fill in the walls of the two towers up to the point of the highest cross beam that we've just placed in the previous step and at this point it's looking a bit plain but don't worry we're going to fix that shortly by adding some texture and some depth to the walls. In the upper sections of the towers we're going to knock a two block hole in the front and the back of each tower to form four windows and then a further two holes in the back of each tower to form two doorways. Now in each window we're just going to pop two dark oak fences and add a couple of spruce doors in the bottom. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
Now to make those plain walls look a bit more interesting. We're going to replace some of the spruce planks with some horizontal stripped spruce logs this time and some spruce stairs to give some texture and make it look like it's seen some action over the many years that it's stood here. Do this all the way around each tower but be careful not to overdo it. Now on each of our two towers we're going to place three upside down dark oak stairs in the shown positions and place a spruce trapdoor either side like so. Do this on the other tower as well but make sure that the side facing the other tower is the one that you leave blank. Now on the left and right sides of the tower, we're going to place a row of seven dark oak stairs like so, and then add another row above it to create the bottom of the roof. Do this on the other side too, and then place two upside down stairs underneath each end to neaten them up like so. Then on each side, we're going to add another row of seven dark oak stairs above the previous rows. Next we're going to place a row of 9 horizontal stripped dark oak logs in between the stairs like so, then we're going to repeat the whole process on the other tower to form the main roof structures of our viking gatehouse. Now along the top of each strip dark oak log, we're going to add a row of 7 dark oak slabs and then add another slab on every other block to form the usual crenellated lock. Again, repeat this on both towers. Now to create that traditional viking V shape that we've been using the rest of our builds, add two upside down stairs on the end of each roof, followed by two right way upstairs and a further two upside down ones. Then you guessed it, repeat it on the other tower. Grab some dark oak slabs next and fill in the floor to each tower to create a platform for our vikings to stand and guard the village from. Now on the three sides of our tower with the trap doors, we're going to add a row of five fence posts followed by an extra two on top of each end post like so. Repeat this on every side apart from the side facing the other tower. On this side simply place three dark oak fence posts running up the side of the dark oak strip logs like so. Repeat this on the other tower as well. We're now going to form a central walkway bridge by joining up the two towers with two horizontal beams of stripped dark oak logs like so. We're then going to find the middle and add another five horizontal stripped dark oak logs going the other way like this. Now we're going to grab some dark oak slabs and we're going to fill in the gaps to form a walkway. Then add a row of fence posts on each side between the two towers for the archers and more guards to stand and keep watch over the outskirts of the village. To support the bridge, we're going to add some supports using five dark oak stairs in the shown positions. Do this four times, two at each end of the walkway. Next, we're simply going to add a few stone slabs at the entrance to each tower so our vikings don't have to climb up to the doorway. Now inside each tower, we're going to add a ladder up to the top, pop a little hole in the ceiling and then if you want, you can build a second floor in the middle of the tower as well. Now, so the vikings on guard can stay warm, we're going to add a chiseled stone block in the middle of each tower and pop a fire on it as well. Now we're going to build a bit of a wall in between the towers by building three columns of stripped dark oak logs, all different heights. Do this along our blue and white line and then we're going to remove some of the bottom logs and replace them with some regular dark oak logs. Then do the same on the other side, creating a nice worn log look for our wall. Mm -hmm. 
Now we're going to add a dark oak fence on the second block up like so and then on the fifth block up to form some hinges. Now at a right angle to our walls we're going to do the same thing attached to our hinges to give the illusion of an open gate. Again replace the lower logs with the regular unstripped logs and remember to make them all different heights. Now we're going to illuminate our gate entrance by hanging a couple of chains and a lantern from the centre of our bridge. Now so that any visitors or enemies know where they are we're going to hang a few of our signature village banners from the gatehouse which really brings the build together. Next we're going to texture up the floor by creating a warm pathway through the centre of the gate. We can then add some stone steps to the steeper parts of the terrain and connect the outside world up with our internal village walkways. Now for the rest of our village wall. We're just going to repeat the pattern with our dark oak stripped logs with the unstripped base coming from the side of our tower and connecting to this hill over here. Make sure you build it high enough so enemies can't just jump over the wall. Then again on the other side marking out the perimeter of the village, in this case we're going to snake it through the trees towards the coastline giving it a bit of shape and not just building it in a straight line. Once we get to the coastline we're going to gradually make the wall lower and maybe in the future we can build another watchtower on the end of it. Finally we're going to add some external details by decorating our walls and towers with some leaf blocks, some foliage, ferns and berry bushes. We're going to add a few barrels and chests for some storage, add some more little walkways and then build up piles of snow in the corners to finalise our viking gatehouse and walls. And that ladies and gentlemen is our Viking village gatehouse and walls complete. I hope you enjoyed the build, I definitely think it's one of my favourite builds in the village, it really brings the place together. If you liked the build then let me know down below what you thought of it and don't forget to send me your screenshots of your Viking villages over on Twitter, I love seeing my subscribers worlds. So if you want to see more tutorials like this guys then don't forget to subscribe, keep an eye out for the next Ancient Greek City tutorial as well coming out soon, thank you so much for all the support on the first one, it's really appreciated, you're all the absolute best. And don't forget to join the whale watching community over on discord too there's some lovely people over there but until next time guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one tatty bye